Hello, this is Thibaut. I'm here to present you uh, some animations that I've done with uh, Bricks and Motion Page. So that's the, uh, the animation that I've done. I actually presented this a small video to the um, Motion Page Facebook group and uh, some people requested to have uh, some video tutorials about it. So I'm just going through all the, uh, the animation as you can see trying to, to, be, uh, to be quick. As you can see, there are many things. So I will not be able to present everything into one video. So I will take a, a small part of all the animation and um, make probably several videos to, to explain about each of them. So that's another one. That's a 3D one. And the final one so they are as i say it's made with bricks builder and uh, a lot of css and a lot of motion page <laughs> so i i will actually go through this animation where you have uh the you can see the text is pushing a kind of uh form to uh, discover another picture of the team member, or in this case, a group. So, as I say, I won't be able to present everything. So, today we're going to dig a bit into this animation. So, you see, the concept is pretty the same. There is a background change. Uh, there is a part of text which is going to the right and pushing the picture to reveal another one. So for each team member, there will be one text and one picture and a button also. You put whatever you want. Uh, and this using the pin uh, function of JZAP of motion page. As you can see, I've, I was scrolling down, but I the section was not moving, <laughs> if I can say so. So, um, in Bricks Builder, my, my uh, let's say, structure is the following. So, I have three sections, a top one, the one with the team, and the bottom one. The top and the bottom one are not really important. It's just for you to, to be able to, to, to see the pin uh, uh, effect. Otherwise, if there's nothing, there is uh, no pin effect, actually basically <laughs> uh, then in the team section i have put four divs uh, that will have their own background so there is an orange background then a uh, pink one and another one and, and actually there are four then there is the cont container which got some blocks with on one hand, the headings, so the description of the team member, and the portraits, the picture itself. So I'm trying to use, uh, of course, obviously, classes as much as possible, but in some cases, it may be difficult. But I'm doing my, <laughs> my best. Uh, I don't intend to be a... a, a, a perfect and uh, genius into CSS uh, 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 for, for the explanation. It's just, I'm just explaining uh, what I've done and how you could do it. By the way, I will share with you the JSON file of this, this structure. And uh, so you can have it uh, handy on your, uh, on your side. I will share also the motion page uh, I, I will export the motion page uh, uh, for, uh, file so you can also put them together and make your uh, adapt and make your own pres um, animation. So back to the animation. So there are four headings and four portraits and four background. They all use um, absolute position. They are, they are on top of each other. And uh, they are they they are hidden. Well, let's say opacity. You could say opacity zero. Uh, 
so they and, and make them appearing one by one. So the important things here is on the portrait. Um, I'm using that's the core of the animation. I'm animating actually a clip path. So uh, a clip path is uh, putting some, what can I say, uh, a kind of mask over your uh, structure of your elements. So it gets into a certain format. So for instance, here you cannot see, but for instance, if I put 50%, size then you can see what i mean i mean i've put 40 percent it's smaller and if i put 20 it's even smaller but i put 120 so you could you can't actually see the circle that uh, actually there is but here you can only see a square uh, then on the motion page so I'm using scroll trigger with a delay of one second. Uh, so my pin element is in my uh, brick structure. Obviously for the pin uh, to work, I'm starting with the top at zero and a bottom at minus 100. Then I'm not sure if it's the right way to do, but that's the way I do it in order to, to put some uh, friction to the um, animation, I am putting some value. So if I put zero, ah, maybe if I save it better, save timeline, then up, refresh. You can, you can see it's quite quick and it's too quick. So, while I dis find, discover what I'm using, basically, I'm putting 600% uh, uh, um, as an offset. That will make the animation, the friction, much more important. So I'm going with, you, I don't know if you can feel it, but I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, but it's much slower to, uh, to, to, for the animation to, to move on then you can adapt uh, to your needs to your taste uh, i mean it that's that's pretty easy uh, then as you can see uh, there are many things many um, uh, points which are animated if i compare to the uh, jambinai one Jambina is much more uh, complex, so that's why I'm not going into this one because it will be too long to explain, and I want to be short and I don't want to to be uh, to bother you too much. So I made a shorter version. So I'm animating each heading, uh, which basically, if I go on the structure, you can see. That's quite convenient with motion page. You can see in real time what you are, what you are doing. You can see that the opacity is going to zero and I'm translating to the right. And then continuing, you can see here the pin two is a, a making, it, making it appearing then slowly making it disappearing when it's going to the right and the same for the others uh, same for the picture that's the the pick one actually uh, there is no effect it's sitting there it's just for me to visually see the timeline it's for me it's easier but actually you don't need to use uh, the first picture because it's here and it's not animated you can see uh, i'm going over it nothing's happening but when i start the pic two pic picture two you can see that it's slowly growing so if i go on the code uh, i'm using custom 
code to animate the clip path. So starting from zero and growing to original size of 120%. So it's growing from a small circle to a big one. And we don't see it anymore. We just see a square because there is an overflow hidden, obviously. And I'm also putting the Z index because picture have to sit on top of each other. So uh, um, they are in the right order. So next picture, picture three, you can see up it's starting. The clip path animation is acting. Same for the last one, picture four, and that's it. Um, am I missing something? Um, obviously, I'm not going into each detail. I mean, as I said, you will see the files. You can see for yourself. I mean, I don't intend to explain all the details. Uh, that would be much too too uh, too long. Or I will have to make make a much shorter, a much simpler uh, animation in order to, to explain what you can do with a motion page, which again, I say is very uh, useful and convenient to develop quickly and efficiently a uh, 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 GZAP animation. So thank you for watching uh, and maybe see you, see you, not see you, but uh, you will see another video quite soon. Thank you.